Now the next example talks about the concept of work equivalence. What is the meaning of the term work equivalence? Let's try to understand this. Work equivalence in a case of time and work talks about what? It says M1 D1 by W1 is equal to M2 D2 by W2. M1 D1 by W1 is equal to M2 D2 by W2. All right. So men days and work to be equated with men days and work. This is a big example. You can introduce n number of variables over here. The variables can be two, three, and in most of the cases, you can also use the application of percentages to make it a quick step question while solving them. All right. So we'll take one example. Read the question now. Twenty men can finish a piece of work in twenty-three days. All right. It says all started but one man leaves after every day of work. Find the percentage of work completed when the last man leaves. So let's try to see twenty men. All right. So we have twenty men who can do a piece of work in twenty-three days. So twenty men can do it in twenty-three days. So we can also say one man can do it in how many days? So that will. Become one by twenty-three into twenty, which is a little bit complicated as far as the question language is concerned. So to make it simple, convert the work in units. I am saying one man in one day. Let us assume he contributes one unit of work. One man in one day contributes one unit. So twenty men in one day will contribute twenty units. One man one day one unit. So twenty men one day will contribute twenty units, and this twenty units of work will be carried for twenty-three days, and this will generate a total work of how much? Four sixty units. Correct? One man one day one unit. So एक आदमी एक दिन में एक unit का काम करता है. Twenty men in a single day will contribute twenty units. 20 units of work is being carried for 23 days so the total work becomes what 460 units and this 460 units now they have to complete together considering the constraints which are given to you in the question so now we have defined the total work as how much 460 units now read the question all started together so one man one day one unit if 20 men are working together can i say their one day work is what 20 units next day one man leaves so it becomes what 19 next day one more man leaves it becomes 18 and so on the last day you have only one man all right so 20 plus 19 plus 18 plus 17 plus 16 and so on up to 1 this will generate 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 20 as the total work which is being completed akhri din ek unit ka kaam karke this man also leaves so work kitna complete hua that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to 20 which is given by summation of n which is written as n into n plus 1 by Two, which is also written as twenty in into twenty one divided by two, which is as good as two hundred and ten units. So two hundred and ten units are completed out of four sixty, which is in percentage can also be expressed as twenty one by forty six of hundred. All right, which is expressed as around forty six percent approximately. So when the last man leaves, the work completed will be as good as forty-six percent. This is a condition given to you in the question. So the basic crux of the story is when you have a problem like this, convert the work into units, considering one man one day work, which in this case I have assumed to be one unit. All right. The next one. Now what happens when multiple variables comes in the case of work equivalence? For example, this problem: In a garrison of 600 soldiers, the food stock is sufficient for 24 days, but after 15 days, 200 additional men arrived, and the consumption lasts for only five days. Find the percentage increase in the consumption. Right? Let's listen to this question. from the perspective of work equivalence so we just discussed what is the basic concept of work equivalence over here we know m1 
d1 by w1 should be equal to m2 d2 by w2. This in the problem can be interpreted as what? In a garrison of 600 men, so m1 becomes 600. All right. The food stock is left for 24 days, so d1 is 24. And the consumption in this case, I am saying, let us assume the consumption is x units. So x units is the consumption which they have on a single day. So 600 men in one day are consuming x units. All right. Now, how does this work got completed? Read the next line of the question. After 15 days, what happened till 15 days or what happened up to 15 days? So till 15 days, 600 men for 15 days are consuming x units per day and after 15 days 200 additional men join them so now the number of men became 800 and the consumption lasts for only five days why because the consumption has now increased 600 men in one day were consuming x so if the number of men are now becoming 800 the consumption becomes y units per day so i want to find out the ratio or the rate of change from x to y so can i say the problem 600 this entire term can be shifted to lhs 600 is taken common 24x minus 15x is what 9x is equal to 800 into 5y so two zeros gets cancelled two threes are six two fours are eight we can say 27x is equal to 20y all right or it can also be written as x upon y is equal to 20 by 27 x upon y is equal to 20 by 27 what is x x is the old consumption old consumption means the consumption when 600 men were working and y represents the new consumption what is that 27 when 800 men were working so is the consumption increased yes because 20 is now becoming what 27 so consumption has increased by 7 all right Consumption has increased by 7 on a base of 20 multiplied by 100. 20 fives are 100. So what does it become? It becomes as good as what? 35%. So the percentage increase in the consumption is as good as what? 35%. So this is another example of work equivalence when the number of variables are more than 2. So in this case, we had men, days and as well as consumption. All right. So the correct answer becomes 35%. Let's take up the next example. Now, considering the application of time and work in a wages based question, you might have seen the wages are purely dependent on the efficiency. It means more efficient you are, the more paid you are in the case of time and work. So example, let's read this question. The number of men, women and children working in a factory together are 18. They earn rupees 4000 per day, sum of the wages of all men, women and children. So, sum of the wages of all men, women and children are in the ratio given to you as 18 is to 10 is to 12 and the individual wages and the individual wages are in the ratio 6 is to 5 is to 3. So individual wages are in the ratio 6 is to 5 is to 3. Now the question is how much does a woman earn in a day? All right. So going back to the basics, what does this line stands for? Again, using the application of ratio in the question, a simple example. Lete some of the wages are given to you it means all the men for example if i say earn 18 and one man is earning 6 so i can say 18 upon 6 will give you the number of men it means this upon this will give you the number of men this upon this will give you the number of women and 12 upon 3 will give you the number of children so it means i can have a ratio of number of men women and children all right so 18 by 6 will give you 3 10 by 5 will give you 2 12 by 3 will give you 4 so the number of men women and children are in the ratio 3 is to 2 is to 4 correct now their sum is given to you in the problem as 18 so i can say 3x plus 2x plus 4x will give you 18 so we can say 9x gives you 18 
or this will give you the number of men, women and children. Alright. So, number of men, 9x is 18 will give you x is how much? 2. It means number of men are 6, women are 4 and children are 8. Now, coming back to the next end of the question, together they earn rupees 4000. It means this sum together, this money together which they are earning is how much? 4000 rupees in a single day. So, I can add the ratios together. Can I write 18y plus 10y plus 12y, this sum is equal to how much? 4000 rupees. It means I can simply say 18 plus 10 is 28 plus 12 is 40. So, 40y becomes 4000. So, y becomes how much? For 100. If y is 100, we want to find out the amount earned by a woman in a single day. So, y is equal to 100. So, amount earned by the women are 10y, which is how much? This is 10 into 100, which is equal to 1000 rupees. So, 1000 rupees is the share of how many women? 1000 rupees is the share of 4 women. So, 1000 rupees is being earned by 4 women. So, I can say 1 woman is going to earn how much? 1000 divided by 4, which is equal to how much? 250. So, 250 rupees are being earned by a single woman. Similarly, if I want to find out the amount earned by a single man. So, what I can do is, similarly, I can say y is 100, 18y will become 1800, 18y will become 1800. So, I can say one man will earn 1800 divided by 6, which will give you 300. And similarly, we can find out the earnings of a single child also. All right. So, this is about getting a problem based on converting the work into the form of wages. All right. Thank you.